hello friends this is sonam today in this video tutorial i am going to show you how to create a scheduled cloud flow in power automate so first of all we will this what is a scheduled cloud flow that means in microsoft provides a scheduled cloud flow within the power automate that will run on a scheduled or, or a specific time period so in this video tutorial we are going to create a flow that will send email notification to the specified user in every two minutes or in a scheduled time period so whether it is two minutes or two days in every two days it will send the email notification for our example purpose i am going to show you how to send an email to a specific person in every two minutes so this one is the preview of our flow in this flow i am going to add a trigger so and then in that trigger we will set the our time and frequency then add an action that is send an email so it will send an email to the user specified user in a recurrence let's start how to create this flow so here i just log in my office tenant address with the microsoft tenant address with the office365.com then once it is login then go to that app launcher and here we can find all the applications that integrated with the microsoft 365 then here we will go open the power automate so click on the ellipses and go to that open in new tab so it will open in a new tab so i have already opened that application in the another new tab so then also i am going to check our email notification i am going to open that outlooks so similarly go to that ellipses and click on the open in new tab so i just open that applications also let's go to that power automate to build our flow let's go to that create option here we can find all the flows that we can create and as we are going to create the scheduled cloud flow so let's click on the scheduled cloud flow and give a flow name suppose i'm going to give a name that is send email in two minutes let's give the starting date so this would be today so okay fine so here it is the timing and you can customize it here from the timing and repeat it every two minutes okay so let's click on the create now we configure our trigger then it will create the trigger yes now it's coming okay and here we can get the interval timing and also the frequency and next go to the new step here in new step we will add an action that is send an email so it will send the email notification to the specified email id or the user so let's click on the outlooks under the outlooks we will get that send an email notification okay send yeah this one send an email so here i'm just going to specify the email address suppose i'm going to send myself okay so this one is sonam okay just close it subject uh, give a subject so warning so it will send me a warning notification in each every two minutes but i don't know what is that warning okay let's see warning messages and thanks and regards so i'm giving my office name so this is stays info so they are basically sending me a warning message okay so let's click on and that's it so click on save and so as there is no error so it is recommending us to test this flow so click on the test and click on manually click on test again it will maybe check that our connection no so let's click on the run flow and click on done and your flow ran successfully so let's wait for a while so it will send email in every two minutes it will send us email notification let's check that first email so let's go to that okay let's wait here so it will send us in every two minutes so in our the outlook we can see the emails are coming in every two minutes that's 1.28 then 130 then 132 like this we can send email notification to the user or a specified user in every two minutes this is how we can send email notification in a recurring basis or a create scheduled cloud flow in power automate so i hope 
you like this video tutorial if you want to get some more video tutorials on sharepoint online power apps power automate power bi python and machine learning so please like share and subscribe to our channel and most importantly subscribe to our channel and if you like this video tutorial please give a like and thank you so much thank you guys and thanks for watching this videos and have a nice day